Hello, your tech admin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft in Ubuntu 14.04. Now, not much of the process has changed since the last video, but a lot has changed on the back end. I've completely rewritten the script and made it a lot more simple, so there's a lot less room for errors and other sorts of things like that. So everything should go smoothly on your end, and you should have no issues at all. After you download the file, the first thing you're going to want to do is right-click it and extract it. After that, you're going to open the newly created folder and right-click the install.sh file you'll find inside of there. Go to Properties, Permissions, and tick the Allow Executing File as Program Box. Once you're done, go ahead and close that and open a terminal window. Now we're going to navigate to the same folder. If you downloaded the folder straight from the link, it's going to be under um, Downloads and the folder name, which is MCI version 1.2. So the command to get there is cd space capital D on downloads forward slash mci all capital lowercase v 1.2 forward slash. Once you have that in there go ahead and press enter. This will take you to the folder. You can verify that you're in the correct folder by doing the command ls. If you see the install.sh and other files listed after you run that command then you know you're in the right place. Once you know you're in the right place, you can go ahead and do a dot or period, a forward slash, and then install.sh. Go ahead and press enter, and the first thing it'll do is ask you for your password. So go ahead and type that in. Now, um, after you type it in and press enter, it'll go ahead and download and install Java. If you already have Java downloaded and installed, it'll skip that portion. So depending on whether you have it or not, the installation could be long or short. So, uh, for the sake of this video, I've already installed it, so the installation is going to go by really quickly. So we can see, and it's done. Now, you'll notice that it no longer launches the game and makes you log in. Uh, I found a way to streamline that out of the script. So now it's just completely uh, hands-free. You run the script, and uh, once it finishes, you're ready to play the game. So once it's done, you'll see right here it says, um, go ahead and search Minecraft in the dash to run the game. Uh, in older versions, I made it so that it put went ahead and put the link up here in the in the bar, but that caused a lot of issues for some people. So I've removed that, and now it just uh, adds the shortcut to the dash. So if you search mine, you'll see Minecraft appear, and you can go ahead and launch the file from there. And if you want it to be pinned, you can right click and lock it to the launcher. So we'll go ahead and wait for it to start up. And there you go. As you can see, Minecraft is installed. I won't log in because I don't want to give out my uh, login details to everybody, but uh, trust me, it is working. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, until next time, guys, happy mining.